What's going on guys, Dragscope Designs here, and today we're bringing you a new tutorial on how to make a um, Adam Array cell render in Cinema 4D. Alright, so a few updates before I begin. I got a partnership with, um, I don't know the name of their network, but I got a partnership from uh, the team GFX for Cancer. They do offer partnerships. They're in my sub box, so you guys make sure you guys check them out. Um, logo design contest. I have a big surprise for you guys because I got partnered. I've been making a sweet ass background and I'm in love with this background. And if you guys win first place on my logo design contest, you guys is logo. We placed right here on my background itself. Um, I just made this last night so you guys can check it out. It looks really freaking nice. I love it. Um, you guys can see out the uh, subscribe button, the Twitter button, portfolio, price list, sniper's fuel, and network. So basically, that's that with the logo contest. Uh, make sure you guys enter because it ends in like three days. Um, Obey Alliance. Make sure you guys check out my speed art for uh, Obey Alliance. Uh, I haven't really contacted Agony about it, but I hope it gets used. It probably might not because I'm not that known of a person, but hopefully it does get used. Um, join Fuel Sniping. Sniper's Fuel is an amazing ass clan. Love their work. Um, they just uh, uploaded another uh, uh, episode here uh, introducing Fuel Vex. Great player. I know him. Um, so awesome channel i think we just got partnership on the channel so make sure you guys check us out there um thanks guys i'm almost at 350 subs you guys can help me get to 350 subs i will i don't know what i'll do uh you guys can leave a comment below what you guys want me to do for 350 subs um one more thing I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. Hopefully, if I get enough questions, I'll do it. Just go to my uh, drag designs update. There should be an annotation maybe here or here, um, a link to the video. There's going to be a video called drag designs update. It says fuel contest in Q&A with a question mark. Go to the comments there. Leave me a question with anything you have, honestly, anything, whether it's graphics questions, um, life questions maybe you have some questions about your girlfriend or something I, I don't know anything if you guys want to ask me just go ahead and leave a comment there below um so make sure you guys sub my channel right now while you guys are watching this uh check out sniper's fuel link in the description and make sure you guys enter my logo design contest first place gets ten dollars a month in the sub box shout out and a mention on my channel uh second place gets five dollars well, one week sub box shout out and then third place gets a uh, one week sub box with a shout out you guys will all get honorable mentions on my channel so don't worry about that um so let's begin on this tutorial i have cinema 4d r13 open up and i'm going to change my text to say drag here and then let's go ahead and um, change up the font so i have a font that i've been using on most of my backgrounds i really enjoy the font i like the uh, design for it so i'm going to use it it is called amaze doom and i use the amaze doom left sometimes i use the amaze uh, doom left two or just the regular one but for this tutorial i'm going to use the regular one i'm going to change the um, depth to about 70 grab it in the middle it's already set there set a cap fill the cap change this to two um probably one set this to engraved and then let's go ahead and render how that looks all right looks pretty crisp um i'm gonna go ahead and add a red in there because that's what i'm going to be using for this tutorial go ahead and render this out if you guys have any feedback for my tutorials, if I'm uh, going too fast or going too slow, or if you guys aren't, if I'm not uploading what you guys want to see, just uh, leave a comment below. I'm going to be uploading my own tutorials anyways, but uh, if you guys want to see something specific, just make sure you guys message me or comment below about what you guys want to see. So uh, go ahead and go to save as, press OK. We're going to go ahead. Why does this keep saving as a TIFF? I'll save as. We're going to save this as a PNG alpha channel press ok we're gonna go ahead and save this as drag text number one click yes let's go ahead and exit this out so what we're gonna do now is go into our arrays here click on atom array and drag our mo text into the atom array you're gonna get this weird looking uh robotically joint thing here we're gonna click on atom array and set the uh, cylinder radius to 0 0.1 
we're going to set the sphere radius to also 0 0.1 now for my kind of text what I'm using here is a uh, nice looking kind of like dark looking gothic text. Um, I'm gonna, uh, for most texts, say if you use like Batman or uh, other stuff like that, you might want to use a, a single elements which makes it um, more 3D looking. So I'll just add it for you guys. And it gives those lines that um, show angles in the uh, text. But uh, for this specific text, I won't be doing that. I'm going to use um, non-single elements. So let's go ahead and uh, render this out. No, we're not going to overlay it. What's going on with my Skype? People are going crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and let this render out. Click on Save As, PNG, Alpha Channel. Click OK. Let's go ahead and uh, save this as drag text number two. Boom, and then click save. All right, so let's go ahead and exit out of this, minimize that, and let's open up Photoshop. Um, there's my background. If you guys have any uh, feedback on the background, just leave it in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and click a, a new document. Let's wait for this to load. Uh, just press OK. I use nine or 100, 1920 by um, 1280. So let's go ahead and uh, click Control Delete to make this all black. Let's zoom in a little bit. Go ahead, go to File, Open, and then go ahead and open up your two texts. I click Control, and then I click them both so I can select multiple images. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go to our text one image, drag it on into our black background, and there we have it. So what I'm going to do here is go double click on the uh, layer and it's going to give us blending options when it opens up. Give it a second. And then what we're going to do is go to color overlay and then set this to red. But well, I'm going to be using a bright red. Okay. Let's go ahead and drag this on in. Alright guys, so that's basically how you guys use Atom Erase renders. It's really cool effect on how, how to use it on uh, backgrounds and uh, special texts. Um, what you could do is just lower the opacity if you'd like. Um, I'm going to change it to about 30. Go here and uh, erase a few things. So let's open up my brushes. Um, let's, get, let's make this a lot bigger. Maybe 200 about. Let's just... Not, not like that. <laughs> Just, you know, delete some of... Oops, not that word. Make sure you guys have the uh, actual colored layer selected. Just delete random parts, you know, fade it in. Alright. You know, get some right here, I guess. You know, just play around with it. Be creative. Do your own style. Make sure it looks sick, though. You guys got to use this to your advantage. Um, this tutorial was brought up to me by uh, Rated Designs. Uh, he's the one that just started the uh, tutorial itself. But in my opinion, I didn't really understand it at first. So I just decided to uh, remake this tutorial. Um, shout outs to Rated for being an awesome designer and uh, keep doing what you're doing. So, um,. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. Speed art tomorrow. Make sure you guys check it out. Surprise speed art. I won't tell you guys who it's for. Um, click, the sub sub <laughs> click the subscribe button below if you guys want to see more content, more tutorials, more gaming. I should be uploading episodes now that I'm a part of a clan again. And um, help me get to 350. Make sure you guys leave a comment below on uh, what I should do next. And don't forget to leave a question for my uh, Q&A video. Um, if you guys aren't already, follow me on Twitter for the uh, latest updates on what I'm going to be doing. Uh, if you guys want to talk to me, have any questions, I'm there. Um, help me get to help me get to 50 followers, guys. Help me get there. <laughs> All right, guys. So check out Sniper's Fuel. The link is in the description. Sub to my channel. Leave a comment in the video. S follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my special speed art. See you guys.